Hello, 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 trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. My name is Renee Garcia, guys, and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today on Trans Surfing TV, the world comes to you. I touched on the beginning lesson of this series. If you have missed any of these, there are two prior. This is going to be a four part series on the mirror world. Go back and take a look. But I touched on the fact that in my pre trans surfing reality, I was definitely in the habit of like grabbing my world by the throat <laughs> and being very aggressive with it. I'll admit I could be a real, um, I could be a real inner intention like bitch, you know, <laughs> just going after stuff. And I was like a bull in a china shop just, just crashing around <laughs> and destroying everything in sight. And I, um, I did achieve results like this for sure. You know, if you go into a sector of reality and just start throwing your weight around like crazy and start grabbing people by the throat, <laughs> you definitely can <laughs> see results, but it's not very pleasant. I, I learned that the hard way. It's not very pleasant. And there's a much easier way to do things. And there's a much, there's a much simpler way to let things come to you so you aren't so depleted energetically, but also like spiritually and even morally. I know that's going to sound kind of bad, but there was a time in my life where I was very, I was, I was so dead set on achieving results that I was definitely that person that would get in and just start throwing elbows, you know, throwing elbows and really going kind of nuts. And this will ultimately harm you. There's no, there's no nice way to put it. This will energetically exhaust you. It will spiritually exhaust you. It'll physically exhaust you. I believe that this sort of place that a person operates in is where health issues flare up, like what happened to me. My body, you know, triggered off a dormant autoimmune issue. And I really believe that it was just a sign from, from my, my being, being, being like, dude, you're not doing this the right way. You are absolutely not doing this the right way. There is another mode of operation and I'm going to break you. So you have to start the process of rebuilding your ass because you're not, this isn't it, right? <laughs> this isn't it. So what I've learned as a product of this rebuild, this reprogramming, this entire adventure that I've gone on with reality transurfing is what I'm going to be speaking of today. Letting your world come to you, not being in a place where you feel as though you've got to go crashing through a scene in order for you to to, to, to get what it is that you want. Your world will in fact come to you. So I'm going to break it on down for you guys before I do all the stuff, links for courses, Reality 2.0, Tufty 2.0, Money Course, Love Course down below. Join us on the Facebook group, the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group. Join our VIP. We have awesome videos, exclusive content, all sorts of cool stuff in our VIP. It would be lovely to have you. The shirts, the stickers, all the stuff below. God, I'm starting to really feel like. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm an auctioneer or something. But anyway, everything's down below. Check it out. Follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. Okay, so let's get into it. The world comes to you. Reality Transurfing, steps one through five, page 661. The ordinary human mind tries unsuccessfully to impact the reflection in the mirror. When what is required is for it to change the actual image reflected. 
The image is produced by the nature and focus of a person's thoughts. The problem is that people look first in the mirror and only afterwards express their relationship to what they have seen. By doing this, deliberately or not, they express an intention that exacerbates reality. The tendency for negativity brings even more negative traits into the mirror. The individual layer is painted in gloomy tones and is filled with events that will be unpleasant for its owner. When a person falls into despair, the dark clouds in the mirror gather even more. If you take an aggressive stance, the world will instantly put its hackles up. You may notice that when you got into an argument with someone and sharply express your discontent, something else equally as unpleasant will follow on just soon afterwards. The more irritated you get, the more insolent new problems seem to cling to you. Everyone will annoy you with something. People are attached to the mirror by the threads of importance. For everything that happens in the mirror represents our life and so has great personal significance. People either like what they see or they do not. Either way, the content of their thoughts correspond with the reflection which continues to strengthen the existing situation. A person will be dependent on their surrounding reality to the extent that the image is controlled by its reflection. The greater the intensity of your feelings, the more powerful your attachment to the mirror. It does not matter what you are thinking about something. What is important is what you are thinking about. Okay, I'm going to read that one more time because this is really, really, really valuable. This is like, this is the money shot of RT. The greater the intensity of your feelings, the more powerful your attachment to the mirror. It does not matter what you are thinking about something. What is important is what you are thinking about. I'm going to break that down in a minute, you guys. Whether you like the reflection or not, you are still focusing on it. Only the content of the thoughts has any meaning. Aversion is always focused outside of ourselves. Leave me alone or I'm so sick of it all. Irrespective of its nature, your relationship is still focused on the object of your dissatisfaction. The passionate feeling which is born of unity of heart and mind gives the image sharp contours and as a result, the reflection begins to be dominated by everything that corresponds to the content of the image. This is why the poor get poorer and the rich get richer. People admire themselves in the mirror of life and each subjectively states what their reality looks like. This reality pulls you in like a swamp. It is like the old woman in the queue waiting to pick up her pension, or a tired woman carrying heavy bags in a crowded bus, or a sick person being passed from one clinic to another. It is their thoughts that keep them tied to their gloomy reality. At the same time, someone else is enjoying life. The sea, yachts, travel, posh hotels, expensive restaurants, whatever their heart desires. In every case, whatever the nature of the circumstances, the same fact is stated. This is how we live, whereas it should be we live in the manner in which we think about our existence. The mirror confirms and continues to strengthen the content of our thought forms. The standard objection to this explanation is that supposedly the starting conditions are different for everyone. One person is born in poverty, while another person inherits a fortune. Of course, the starting points count for a lot and determines how the image of one's life will initially be positioned and how it will develop later. But it does not mean that everyone totally depends on the starting 
the startup capital. There are loads of examples of how people who were born into the lowest levels of poverty ended up in the highest circles of society and vice versa. Perhaps these are just the rare examples that prove the rule. That may be true, and yet if it is possible for there to be an exception, the rule cannot be as immutable as you might think. Whatever dark rule you find, you might find yourself in, know this, you can change everything. And what is more, you can change it radically. It does not matter that you may have absolutely no idea of how to bring about that change. You do not have to be able to see a specific way out. The solution will present itself. You, you think you are at the power of circumstances. You are incapable of changing, of, of changing, yet this is an illusion, a sham that you can easily destroy if you want to. The thing is that we are all subconsciously walking around in a closed circle. We observe reality, we express our attitude towards it, the mirror consolidates the content of our attitude in reality. In order to transform reality, all we have to do is break the circle. Okay, so this is pretty much the story of my life. <laughs> this is it. This is exactly what happened to me. I was caught in this cycle of poverty, this cycle of thinking as though, you know, there was no way out, that I was destined for a life of struggle and not having and debt and feeling as though life, good, the good parts of life were intended for other people. I was caught in this gloomy atmosphere that began with what Vadim calls a capital, right? My capital being my generational garbage, the fact that we were utterly poor, that at times we didn't even have a car or a washing machine for years. My mom had to go to the laundry mat and do the laundry every week because we couldn't afford the most basic things in life. Now, when you're a child, you don't have a lot of you don't have a lot of ability to understand that there are other variations i mean how would you i guess you know inherently there's something in there because lots of people have come to this modality saying that they were kind of transurfing at a young age not necessarily realizing it but it doesn't really come until later that the level of control in which you can take for yourself if you decide if you choose that you want to do something bigger and better but when we're young we may have this like far off sort of idea that there's something out there but we don't necessarily know a hundred percent how to get there or do that yet because we are kind of victims of circumstance when we're in our young younger years now there's two ways to go with this you either continue to accept the lot that you are given in life and you adhere to all of those beliefs that you know poverty and sickness and not having enough and debt and all those things are your load to bear or you become one of the elite right you become a person enjoying yachts and the fine life and luxury hotels and all that kind of stuff and i did that I was able to actually see it through to the other side. But again, as I touched on initially in the beginning of this video, I did it with inner intention. I did it with throwing elbows. I did it with elevated levels of importance to the point that I exhausted myself energetically, spiritually, physically, all that kind of stuff. Letting your world come to you. There's more than two ways to have that choice that you intend for yourself than the in, in, inner intention way. You can also do it 
the outer intention way, which is what I'm doing right now. So here's the cool thing about this. And I touched on this in my alternative space lesson, one of my alternative space lessons that I just did, is that not only is it easier to let it come to you, which is what I'm doing now, I'm simply answering the call, but more is coming to me than when I was operating in that inner intention mode, throwing the elbows, grabbing my world by the throat, and getting aggressive in my layer of reality to achieve the things that I intended to achieve. Letting the world come to you is, again, like my previous lesson, the uh, lesson on putting a drop of gold into the amalgam of, of your mirror. This is a trick that pendulums do not want you to know. This is a hidden little secret about reality that once you understand it, once you get a taste for it, once you see a result in your mirror image, from you doing something via outer intention, letting your world flow up to you and you simply answering the call, plugging into that version of reality and using your world to help you achieve your intention, you realize how easy it is. You're like, God damn, why was I doing this any other way? Why was I doing this any other way? So it's all a matter of Will you accept this version of reality? I'm presenting it now. Transurfing, reality transurfing is presenting it now to you. I'm telling you that I have done this and this is how I'm achieving exactly what it is I am, which, which is nothing short of a miracle given my prior circumstances, given the fact that I was not born wealthy. I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth, a set of skills, things given to me like a college education, all this kind of stuff. Yet I have more money and more of everything than even people that were handed much more opportunity than me have in my life right now. So I'm extending this to you. This is a possibility. Do you accept this? Is this something that you have interest in creating in your own life? The ability to see your world flowing up to you exactly what it is you need in order for you to materialize your intentions with ease and let your world go that gripping your world by the throat, letting your world go, and letting your world come up to you rather than you aggressively chasing it, right? Aggressively chasing it. So this is a meaty topic. It's a big lesson. It's an advanced lesson. And the bottom line is I would challenge you to ask yourself today again, and I said this in my previous lesson, what is it that you don't have right now that you want? Something that you want, something that you want to become, something that you want to do, somewhere you want to go. What is it that you want right now? And are you going about either maybe not even going about it, you're just saying, oh, well, that's intended for somebody else, that's for the elite, that's for the rich, that's for the this or the that, and then I'm this other type of person that doesn't um, get access to those sorts of things. Or are you going into your world aggressively trying to create this result and are you ready for maybe another alternative? So again, if you have not read this book, highly suggest reading it. This will help you to switch over from that gripping your world by the throat mode to letting your world come to you. And God damn, it's so good. It's so good. It's so magical. It's so much easier and so much is coming in my direction that's like, I never thought in a million years that I could have a life like this. 
I stand back and I look at my life right now and I'm like, first of all, I really have it all. And second of all, I have no problems whatsoever. I don't have a single problem and I have it all. I have the financial abundance. I've got the love of my life. I've got the freedom. I've got the adventure. I've got the perfect external environment, everything that I want. I live in a really cool house. I drive a really cool car that I love. Not that these things are important, but it is really fun when you get all that stuff you want. I've got the perfect dog. I've got great friends. I've got you guys. I've got everything going on with transurfing. And I never thought it would come so easy, but I had to let go and understand the difference between grabbing my world by the throat and letting my world come to me and being available to actually plug into my intention offered to me in alternative ways than how I was operating prior to reality transurfing. So let me know what you think of this lesson, you guys. And the next one after this, the grand finale, the uh, maker's intention, this is like this is like the death drop of <laughs> of the mirror of the mirror world series and I hope you will stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching my video. Have a good day everybody. Bye.